this far, which is a no-no for me. It's 8.07 a.m. 1st of September, 82 degrees outside here in San Marcos. We're just doing a little bit of exploring this morning, and then we are headed to, what's the lake's name? Canyon Lake. Canyon Lake to get on the boat. So we will see you in just a second. Anything exciting, this is gorgeous, that we see, I'll be happy to show you. Yes. Open land. Look at that. Oh, there's water out there. Because. yesterday googled was googling the area and he found this area called Canyon Lake Gorge and do you want to say what happened? Yeah I think the year was 2002 the dam actually over Flowed. overflowed the banks and kind of washed out this big area and it's like it's huge and it had like dinosaur um, footprints. footprints and fossils and Pretty All incredible. kinds of cool stuff. So here is where you can start the crossover on the dam. If you'll recall, we were all the way on the other side yesterday. And then here, up here, you can see the gorge. So uh, let us park and get out and we will show you. So there's the wall or the dam we were on yesterday. Gorgeous view this morning. This is just the lake, and we will go the other direction and show you the gorge, what we can see of it. Um, our boat rentals pretty soon, so we don't have time to tour the whole area, but maybe we can come back. That's gorgeous. What a beautiful view. Wow. That's beautiful. Yeah. See what we can see up here. All right, so can't go any farther than this, but there's a sidewalk down there. <gasps> okay, well, I don't think that's it, I think that's just a portion of it. Yeah, and it goes back that way because probably what it was to see how that's the berm down there. Uh -huh. It's probably all the way across to here. And that's mm -hmm. what all got wiped out. Yeah. Interesting. All right, let's see where else we can see. Yeah, we'll have to come back in the fall. We're talking about um, another RV trip in October. It's still pretty warm here in October. You, you might get lucky and get a cool front here and there, but really, you want to guarantee it being pleasant, January, February is your best bet. <laughs> okay, there's our little boat. There's a little ranch with condo. There she is. Okay, here we go. Taking us down there. Oh dear God, I have not done this since I was a kid. Usually I was in the truck. There goes safety. <laughs> I just marked our location. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Um, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call 
us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. I'll bump up and down. I said earlier I really wanted to have um, more boats on the water. I changed my mind. Lunch was delicious. We just had a sandwich and I had some cauliflower pretzels. Rob tried a cauliflower pretzel said for cauliflower pretzels. It was pretty decent. He didn't want another one though. I asked him if I threw one over if the fish would come and eat it and he said no because they didn't want a cauliflower pretzel. They wanted a real pretzel. Then they might come. This is very peaceful. What? <laughs> this is very peaceful. This life jacket's a little too big for me. Yeah, about the only thing that would make this better is to have a dog with us. And um, that's about it. It's very nice. How you doing over there? I'm doing amazingly well. How was your lunch? Very tasty. Good. So, you can see it's still, we still got some rain off in the distance over there, but it's not raining on us, so I'm good with that. Yeah, nice breeze. The water's kind of choppy here, but there's parts where it flattens out and it's very nice. Sort of floating around over here. Yeah, because we're now by that buoy. We were nowhere near that buoy before. Yeah, we were all the way over there. Yeah, we just have talking about how far we have floated. Because we were way over there by that big old rock over there.
almost like we knew what we were doing. Yeah, almost. That was stressful. <laughs> all right, you guys turn Okay, well, if you're ever in this area, I will leave their information linked for you in the description box. Uh, if they have a website, I'm not sure, but I will definitely leave all their information for you in the description box. How much was it? Three seventy nine. Yeah, uh, the price plus fuel. Yeah. So. Um, we just rented it for four hours, mm -hmm. and um, yeah. Do you have to have any boating experience? No, but it's, it's helpful. Yeah. If you've never driven a boat before, I really recommend you let them teach you, maybe practice a little bit in the little area around here. Just, I really, be careful, because you, you can hurt yourself or somebody else very seriously in a boat if you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> so, anyway. But we had a good time, and of course, the weather, you know. It's all good, we had a great time. Yeah, so, all right, we will see you back at the RV. Just thought I'd pop in and let you know what you do on vacation or in a travel trailer in downtime. You relax. I'm having a cup of coffee in my little Chilux, Chilux coffee maker, and I toasted some toast. I'm not supposed to eat bread, whatever. I, it's gluten-free bread. The Char gluten-free bread is really good. It's the first time I've had it. I toasted some toast. I just turned the burner on and toasted it that way. Just don't set it on fire. And um, this is the mess in the trailer. So, you know, if, if it were ours, we'd have a permanent home for things like this, but it's not. I, like I would put it up in maybe this, oh, you can't see. There we go, the cabinetry up there. I don't know, whatever. So our cooler from today, oops, our cooler from today, the recycle bin, which is cat litter box bag, the other cooler, and you see we have to run an extension cord from over here because the GFI outlets aren't working in this RV. We will tell them when we turn it in. My purse is there, and of course, this air conditioner in our own, we will have two air conditioners. The bug spray, the tubes we picked up today. So, but this, Knows, slowly gathering and collecting more things but we've done a pretty good job of keeping everything pretty neat and tidy it's a small space so there we go the beds made like I said this is too long for the bed so I just fold it in half our clothes and stuff are still up there but um, this is a great size RV sitting here working for a little bit from the table and uh, yeah it's kind of chilly in here. We turned off the second AC because it's been overcast. The sun is out now, so I'm gonna turn that AC back on and uh, turn down the AC in the camper and uh, go from there. All right, I just wanted to check in with you, uh, you know, doing the dishes and that kind of thing. It's no big deal. We're gonna make dinner later. We had said we were gonna make tacos, but we may have like a frozen pizza or I don't know. I don't know, we have lots of choices in the fridge. All right, see you in a second. Okay, it is dinner time. Dinner time. dinner time. We are making a frozen pizza. I'm not having a frozen pizza, but here is the frozen pizza. Obviously, it will take the plastic off. Okay, so lighting this oven was not easy. It was easy. It was just a little unnerving. So we'll bake this pizza, and I'll let you know how it turns out. Hopefully, it cooks well. I imagine it would cook fast. This is a small oven. Probably not super efficient in temperature, so I imagine it's gonna cook fast. And uh, we will see. Okay, it's in there. Look at that, cooked to perfection. That's a good little oven. Yes it is. I'm about to toast some bread in it. And so very quick too. Yeah, I mean that was what, 15 minutes if even? Not even. Yeah, excellent, looks really, really good. I turned the light on, but that light doesn't work. <laughs> Okay, so for myself tonight, I'm just gonna have some eggs, bacon, and toast for dinner. Uh, this, in case you have not seen these, these are little, I don't know, soda can lid covers. I've shown them in a vlog a couple of times. I really love these. These are my silicone straws. I get mine from Grow Collaborative. Um, I can leave them linked for you in the description box. Absolutely love them. I have several over there. I have several at home. I always have several in rotation. And then I just shove the straw down in there. I'm doing this one-handed. You, it's much easier. Two hands. And then the straw is in there. I have my can is covered. It's not gonna spill. 
and uh, I can I mean I can hold it by the top I don't recommend doing that but you can um, and there you go and you're good to go no flies will fly in there and no refrigerator taste when you put it in there to save it for later so I just really like these okay so here's my shark gluten-free bread I'm gonna put it in the oven in a minute I need to get my eggs ready and I just brought some microwavable bacon um, and uh, I'm gonna scramble some eggs and put that in there and toast it and have some breakfast. Super simple for dinner, breakfast for dinner. time this is what we've been doing just fill up the sink on this side just to preserve the small water heater so put some hot water in the sink over here on this side and as we're cooking we put the dishes in the sink let them sort of soak and get ready to be scrubbed up after we have finished with dinner um, that's the eggs and uh, then I lay out over here a towel and I let everything dry so super easy you're not cooking Thanksgiving dinner and I move this down to the bottom to help it toast sort of like a broiler we'll see how that does just don't let me burn it and I don't put the hot pan back in this sink this sink is plastic and I'm not sure what temperature rating it's rated to I, I know a lot of the RV sinks are rated to a certain temperature degree to a certain degree but I'm not sure what this one is so I'm just letting the pan cool off on the stove top and I'll wash it once it's cool so there we go isn't this cute? It's like the perfect perfect size for the RV. I will link it for you. That worked perfectly. Now, me personally, I'd let that toast get a little darker, but there you go. So the butter's ready to go, and there's my dinner. I know, catch up on my eggs. You stop judging me. You eat your eggs how you want to eat them, and I'll eat mine how I want to eat them. All right. <laughs> there we go.